color tutorial. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me because this is really loud and I haven't recorded anything like this on this camera before. Um, so first I'm going to show you the colors that I'm going to use. Um, so I use Liquitex, Liquitex paints and the first one that I'm going to use is this unbleached titanium color. Unbleached titanium, and then the next one that I'm going to use is uh, iridescent bright gold, and that will give him a perlino color with a little bit of shimmer, uh, which is just what I want. And the reference, hopefully, you guys can see this. I don't know if this will work, but I'm using this one on the right for the horse that I'm working on. on this classic scale mason. Hopefully you guys will be able to see what I'm doing. I'll do my best to try to make sure that he stays within the frame. Um, so first what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this uh, unbleached titanium color. I already have it mixed up with a little bit of water. And I'm just going to go over him all over lightly with this color. because they'll be a slightly darker color and on this horse he is a Tobiano anyway so most of his mane will be white and at least half of his tail will be white as well so I'm not going to worry about airbrushing him on this horse um, but you can see his body has kind of a light cream color compared to his mane and tail now um, so the next color I'm going to use is that gold and that's going to kind of lighten this up just a little bit um, and then add a little bit of shimmer to his color and I'm going to do basically the same thing where I just take it over the whole body. on there then it's gonna really take over and he's just gonna be a big shiny metallic -y horse especially with that gold that gold will just cover up things if you go too heavy so you want to go really really light and really really careful with it um, just enough to get I don't know if you can see it in this light I'm away from my going to be a solid color, um, you kind of will have to look at your reference because they're a little bit different from one horse to another because I have a Walsh cob that I'm doing in this color as well and his mane and tail is almost the same color as his body but the reference for this one has a much more dark brown tail um, so for that I may end up having to go back later and just pastel part of it but I'm going to go in and put in of this 
burnt umber color. There we go. Um, which is the same color that I use on like bays and chestnuts to do body shading. Uh, just to get at least uh, at least like this part of his tail um, brown. I'm not gonna. You could do it on the mane as well, but because his mane's gonna be white. I'm not going to worry about it too much. I might put a little bit up here at the top because I'm not sure exactly where that pattern ends. Because um, I'm only going off of the one picture for this. I have more for this pattern. But. That's roughly what it's going to look like. You can make the tail, mane and tail a little bit lighter. This one has a particularly dark area in his tail. Um, make them just a little bit lighter, just use a little bit less of the, the burnt umber. But um, that's pretty much it. It doesn't really take a whole lot because there's not a whole lot of uh, shading on them for the most part. Um, I think that's it. Um, the You'll have to go in with some pink around his nose, eyes, and then under his belly and everything. Um, but I don't have any paint, pink paint that I can put in my airbrush right now. So I'm going to go in with some pink pastel and um, do it with pastels so that it's a little bit lighter. But um, that's pretty much it. It's, it took me a long time to find the right uh, color combination, but that's really all it takes. I just kind of stumbled upon it by accident when I was painting something else. So, um, yeah. Uh hey guys, so I just painted this Welsh Cobb in the same Perlino pattern, uh, or color, and I just wanted to show, I guess, a little bit about how this can come out a little bit differently. So I ended up, I wasn't quite happy with the gold color, this uh, classic. There we go. So I went back in and put a little bit of the unbleached titanium on top of that color so that it kind of toned it down a little bit and he came out just right, just how I wanted him. And so when I went and did this Welsh Cobb in the Perlino color, I did the same thing. So it's the unbleached titanium base coat. Um, I actually don't think I put gold on this one. I left it out because that horse that I'm using as the reference isn't very shiny. Um, so then instead of putting the gold and the burnt umber on him, I took some of this uh, raw sienna that I use as a base coat on my bays and chestnuts and stuff. And I shaded his mane and tail lightly with that and lightly on his joints and his body as well. Um, just to give him a little bit more dimension. Now he doesn't have any of his pinking done either. This is just his body color. But um, I think it came out pretty good. So I got pretty, pretty simple, straightforward. The trick is just making sure that you go very, very light with all your colors because it's really easy to go too dark with these and then you end up with a really kind of yellowy orange color instead of a nice cream color but just wanted to show this guy to you and let you know what I did to make his color just slightly different than the other one um, so yeah this one just has the unbleached titanium and the raw sienna that's it and I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a real short tutorial for me. Um, so 
Thanks for watching. If you have suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments below. Um, see you guys next time.